Hello everyone, this is Cody from the Rancor's Brothel. Are you looking for dice and other gaming accessories for your group? If so, check out our friends over at FanRoll.com, where you can find unique dice and premium quality accessories for your table. And if you're looking for something really special, they do customization as well. Fans of the Rancor's Brothel can save 10% by using the promo code RB10 at checkout. That's R as in Rancor's, B as in Brothel, 1 0. Not only can you get yourself some great dice at a discount, but you can support this podcast as well. So check out FanRoll.com today and use promo code RB10 at checkout. Tell them the Rancor's Brothel sent you. Engage. The Rancor's Brothel. last email um was sent the morning of october 12th okay at 6 41 a.m um it is an email that was sent to math geeks at listbrain.com <sighs> list brain yeah is it the number uh no it, it's a, it's a pile of gobbledygook like it basically is like hey guys check this out and then it's a pile of numbers. Like just literally just numbers or are there equations? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's numbers, equations. You would need to you would need to roll to figure it out. I mean, is there a basic find thing that we can type some of this into? Copy paste into Google. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not quite. Uh well if we go to the website, what's the forum where people respond to? This brain it? is just a it's a mail server. So it's just you could sign up a million emails under one list server and send it out so somebody went to listbrain.com created a listserv called math geeks no response but nobody replied to it is what you're saying because there's no in there's no no there is nothing in there is the inbox the only like, receiving folder spam trash well besides that but i mean yeah no the, it's it doesn't look like his email is organized in his email he doesn't have much email okay but listbrain.com lucas is just it, it allows you to create email campaigns basically the, the, i mean does it look like this is his thing that he is sending out or is he just a part of this and he is feeding into it um hard to say you would I need mean, to do some more research well i mean if you okay so if you're receiving an email through this group does it say it's from listbrain like are there inbounds from listbrain on on his yeah inbox? if you go to there are other um okay, so it's people have been Matt passing Geeks stuff back at and listbrain.com Okay. So he's not the um, one who created it. I okay. Think. So the ones who are sending to him from that list, can we get those email addresses? You can. Okay. But how many do we see? Um, nine bajillion, nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like 10 to 12. Okay. That's actually a smaller amount than I expected. Um, s- anybody have SIGINT? He and I both have at least 20 in it. Computer science, anything no else. No one has computer science. Anything else that is sort of, that's almost like that's what they wanted. Um, you want Sigmund? Uh, just anyone, like, using clever computing. I would even take a general intelligence role if it's a decent intelligence Succeeded role. Succeeded Sigmund. Ot 2. Oh, Ot 2 is a good number. Um, you look it up. You actually just, like, start Googling it, Troy. And uh, Special Agent Gallant. Gallant? Is that what we said? Gallant? Gallant. You you actually look it up. Math geeks at listbrain.com is listed with a website, and it's basically like, are you interested in complex theoretical mathematics? Do you want to check out puzzles? You sign up. Um, you know, it's got like a contact for a the list moderator is Julio Kimbrell, PhD, a professor of mathematics at Alfred University in upstate New York. So do we need to get this website shut down? Julio what? Uh, Kimbrell, PhD. I think that this is these email addresses need to be forwarded to the handler yeah. as people who are possibly exposed. Um, the website itself should probably be shut down. 
Well, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point because if this this has already been sent out. Yeah, but if any other anybody else can just get onto the website and that equation is on there, that isn't no. part isn't part of that mail chain. <laughs> we well, don't no, we don't the, know that this number is on there. Well, no, we don't. It's fair. But um, we and that could be the answer the, to the, the equation. Th- the thing that has been sent out is just going to these individual email Sounds addresses. Like a number that's an answer to anything. I mean, I don't I fucking don't. know. The th- the the batch of numbers that was sent out is only going to these email addresses. It's not posted to the website. Correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I will call the handler back. Say I have this list of email addresses. Uh, a potent a, a list serve that the that Way was a part of. Uh, these email addresses have potentially received some some kind of number from Way. Is there a search function on that website? Uh, no. It's it's just kind of listing. It, it, this is like, and I wanted to bring this up. Um, R.A.P. Diggle, one of my fraternity brothers, uh, because he always liked doing these. Uh, in college, we used to have these Fortnite of the Week puzzles, like or a puzzle of the Fortnite or whatever, where like one of the math professors would send out to all the college students like a really hard math problem, and then would talk about whoever solved it across campus. So everyone on campus got it, but then like five fucking math nerds, including Diggle, uh, would try and solve, would try and prove it. So you get the sense that like that's what it is. You can sign up to be a part of this listserv and you know share math geekery with other people. Yeah. What. What if I just Google that number in general? What number? The the number. Yes, feed that to Google's AI. <laughs> incognito, incognito. They won't know. They won't know. They're not gonna know. You can't. You can't find it if it's incognito. Yes, that's how that works. <laughs> uh, I used to work it, when I was doing printers. the The boss there would sit and dick around on his laptop all day on the work Wi Fi and turn on in- incognito mode. I'm like, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> just helps so you don't have to erase your history later. Yeah, but work can still see it. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> um, want to Google? I or I guess try to get on Alfred University's website sure. and see if I can get a contact information for Julio Kimbrell. Yeah, you can absolutely. I mean, it's 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 a college, so there's probably a phone number and an email address. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, that wouldn't be hard at all. Who is Julio Kimbrell? The the creator of the the list model. Oh, gotcha, list gotcha. Yeah. We also need the names of his math professors. Yeah, colleagues, professors, Whatever, anybody, any, yeah, anybody. <laughs> that's what that's what what's her name was getting. Um, Sandy, Sandy, uh, Sandy what, Susan, Sarah. What's the handler say about the list serve? Uh, add a list. Add something to your to do list. Figure out who the fuck is on that list, sir. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I do we want to roll Sagan again to figure? I don't. We don't have applicable skills. Somebody's got to moderate it. Who the fuck moderates the list? Kimberl, I guess. Yeah. If people aren't putting their names like in the forum chats on the website. No, but if the if we go to the person who's moderating it, he will have access to the yeah. list. Yeah. All right. Call him up. Um, <coughs> yeah. You guys can call him up. I'll say uh, make a, whoever's making the call, make a luck roll. I'll do it. Okay. Um, I'll go high. Uh, that is not high enough. You say it's pretty easy. It's a 40. It's over 50 or under 50. Yeah, it's 40. <laughs> uh, you can leave a message. Um, it's obviously an office phone and it's after, or, you know, he must not be in off right now. Okay. Hello, uh, you've reached Dr. What did I say? Dr. Kimbrell. Um, I'm not available at my office right now. If you leave a message, I will return your call I'll as soon as possible. Be- call back later. Sure. Is there anything else on the computer? No, not really. No, there's nothing of of, of interest. A few files. I no mean, random text file that's full of numbers. Or yeah, anything. shit like that. Yeah, yeah. He's really good at Minecraft. Or not Minecraft. What is that old game? The mine game. You have the mine sweeper. Mine sweeper. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, you feel like you don't want that lingering around, Jeff, but you don't really know what it is. And there's piles of, like I said, fucking dog-eared, printed out manuscripts, fucking everywhere too. Dog-eared manuscripts. Yeah, like just printouts and books and shit just like, you know, like you got halfway through it and then set it upside down to save your place. Like shit's everywhere. Right. But I mean, it's not like just strings of numbers or something weird. I didn't have to look at all. I mean, like I said, okay. there's there's dozens, if not more books laying everywhere. I mean, we have the room. We can toss the room for what yeah, we can no, find. I'm you if you want well, to. I know. 
if we're going to go to Gantt and say, you need to come in here and process this evidence, yeah, we yeah. don't want to toss the room. That's true. If there's stuff that we can, if there's explicit stuff that we can pull out and make disappear, yeah. that's great. If that's we fair. If we can fry his computer and say, this is how we found it. Is that a laptop? Uh, a desktop, I think is what I said. All right, you just take it with us. <laughs> Well, it would be weird if he didn't have a computer here. Plus, we were already we've been seen in the room with the computer. Well, yeah, that's true. But we're FBI agents, so we would have be able to take it. <sighs> oh, yeah. For its evidence, in fairness, we could take the tower. It's, it's, yeah, that's. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, check out some of the stuff that's laying around. <sighs> Gingerly, hell, I'll put gloves on. <sighs> uh, the papers. Uh, there's a stacked. Um, there is a pile of um, papers with a, a, a series of complex numbers literally right next to the desk. Okay. Would you like to? Are you inspecting them? What are you? What are you doing? What do you guys think? Thumb through them. Yeah. Okay. The most. The most. Uh, um, are we just grabbing stuff and getting rid of it if it has numbers on it, or are we going through it? <coughs> I, I think we want to go through it. Okay. I think. We were we were told about this specific number, not really an equation in general. So I don't know if it matters or not. I don't either. Unless it has that number on it. Um, in all of the mission briefing, there was never anything about figure out what this number means. No, it's just destroy it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like if the equate, but does the equation equate that? But I'm saying if, if something leads to this number, exactly. we should probably also. Right. That's true. Uh, Jeff, since you talked about it, the first piece of paper that you um, that you pull up. Uh, says 10, 10.12 comma 921 comma 10.12 comma 921 comma 40.796901 comma and then there's like a space and it says negative 73.968158 son of a bitch yep uh take that one take what one take that page why I'm I'm not sure what all of it means, but the first one is ten twelve. Mm. What's the next number? Nine twenty one. Yep. Nine two one two three three three. Yeah. Forty point some numbers. Yeah. Intelligence rolls if you want them. These aren't the ages of the. <laughs> they're not the. It's not the ages of, <laughs> unless it's birth dates for everybody. Pass. I know that passes for you, Jeff. Was pass. No, oh, wait a minute. And, oh yeah, definitely pass. Right. Oh yeah. Um. Yep. Uh, I need luck rolls from you two. Hi. Low. Pat. One. Got it. Okay. Um, actually, that's a crit. <laughs> nice. Crit luck. Um, time out. No, it, it's a grid. It's, it's maps. It's GPS. Uh, I mean, I was thinking longitude, latitude. I was thinking that, but that's Google map it. You said 40 point numbers and a comma, but then a space and then neg- minus correct numbers. Correct. Okay. I will put that number into Google. Uh, it's New York City. Where in New York City? Uh, it's a police department. It's the 24th precinct. Okay. Where you got the shotgun. Mm. Okay. Let's go through more of these pages. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to roll Sanja? Was there a date written on No. That? It's a pass. I would call it one. Was there a date written on that paper? No. With these numbers? No. And you both passed your luck rolls, right? Yes. Yeah. Another sand. Who pass crit crit pass uh one <coughs> um you begin to search the room then yeah uh you just start seeing all kinds of things about math equations uh things about prime numbers things about high level um physics and geometry and theoretical mathematics um uh you do find a bundle of pages um that are stained with both coffee and food held together by an orange binder clip shoved halfway under the futon um it appears to not be in english what language is it in uh i would say latin uh i happen to know latin oh do you jeff perfect i do Uh, Jeff, uh, you see that this document is, man, don't you just love, uh, you know, being able to do that? Yeah, I do. What you want to do? <laughs> you see, you find, uh, 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 I'm going to botch this, Libri Pluris Admiral, Admiralito, or what you would translate as the Book of Many Wonders. E Pluribus? Libri Pluris oh, Admiralto. Admiralto. 
The Book of Many Wonders. Uh, Faustius Claudan is the writer. Oh, yeah. Well, go, go Faustius. Um, good old Faustius. Good old Faustius. <laughs> there are. Real famous guy. Yeah, no, uh, you, it doesn't mean anything to you, but you begin to flip through it, and there are, um, as you're flipping through, there's a giant pile of numbers uh, in the corner of one of the pages. Uh, it draws your attention because it says the word hello next to it. Is it me you're looking for? Would you like to roll mathematics, Jeff? <laughs> I don't have a very good chance of hitting that. That'd be a shame if you did. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 17 under 20. Uh, roll Sanja. Yeah. Uh, does that book title or pass? One. Faustius, Claudan, Google, search anything? Uh, yeah, give me... Uh, uh, hey, Jeff, you get a fun message. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can roll history on Faustius, Claudan, and miss that one. What's your I get his- the fucking... What's your history? 60. Uh, what's your Latin? 40. All right, hold on. You get something automatically. Um. I miss the history at 60, but I get the math at 20. <laughs> it's roll a dice. It's thrilling stuff as Grady types out a message for me just to fuck with me. He wouldn't do it just to fuck with you. Faustius Claudan um, is um, you don't get much immediately. Would you like to go further, Jeff? Would you like to ask further questions? <laughs> I left some stuff open. I go ahead and tell me sure. what you're telling. Uh, is is sort of an obscure, um, like 15th, 16th century scholar. Jeff, you have enough that you know. If you got to a library, you could figure out more about Faustius Claudan immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's going to take you know, it's going to take a little bit of research. research but yeah. you have the ability to do it. You're just not where you you don't have JSTOR logged on your phone. You right. know what I mean. Was there something else for Latin that I got? Yeah, you you recognize that name. You're like, oh shit, this is like some fucking <clears throat> schizo goddamn person that I remember hearing about at one point. Some some scientist or something. <coughs> hey mom, I want a Da Vinci. We have a Da Vinci at home. That's Faustus Claudin. Uh I am I am Googling another set of longitude and latitude. Real Sam, please. Pass. It's another one. Points to a um, really nice um, home in a in a sort of um, like a, what do I want to say? It, it's a home inside like a um, the hell do you call them? Like a gated community. Yeah, like a gated community um, outside, uh, just outside of Baltimore. Oh, <sighs> Baltimore. <Back team> order. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Just you, just you going back to your phone. Uh, what else? You all kind of see him just staring at this paper. Do you find anything in there? Or help us out. We don't speak Latin. Uh, we can add this to the pile that we're taking. <laughs> <clears throat> Why don't we just burn the whole building? <sighs> Let's just fix it. <coughs> Torch the room. Take every book and paper he's got. Is Jeff from Baltimore? No, Jeff's from Indy. Um, is not Timothy Chalamet, <laughs> wherever you're playing, <laughs> Mallory from Baltimore. Uh, the call that you put into the FBI comes back, Lucas. Um, his credit card usage is like almost non existent off of this campus. Like, you can easily build a profile without trying. This motherfucker has breakfast in the cafeteria downstairs, he has what appears to be lunch or like a late afternoon coffee latte at the coffee shop right around the corner or at the deli right around the corner. And then he gets takeout about five nights a week, either from the Chinese restaurant down the street or like the pizza place around the corner. This guy lives here. Um, okay. When I, I'm not sure if it'd be here before. Um, do we find his phone or was that a part of the evidence at the police station? No phone. No phone. Hmm. Interesting. No phone in that in that we didn't see a phone here or that not, no phone has been recovered so no far? No phone has been recovered. What about the wife's phone at the police station? Presumably recovered from the house. I right. think you did ask about that earlier. I asked There's about it, but I didn't yeah. ask about it when we were there looking at the evidence. <sighs> okay. Do we need to go to the PD and get, <laughs> get some of that stuff? Mm. For any reason? Uh, 
Look around the apartment. Do we find bills or anything it's like a, that? It's a dorm, and you're not going to find much in the way of bills outside of credit card bills because probably part of his residency is living here. So, right, like, I'm looking for a phone bill. <clears throat> um, <coughs> yeah, probably. You do? Okay. Uh, I don't know that phone bills break down every phone call anymore. No. Um, he just wants more physical evidence. Mm. I I'm trying to figure out if I can. I, I haven't looked at a phone bill in a long time. Um, can I get the? Can I get his phone number off of the phone bill? And is it part of the yeah. sequence? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, that should be on there. I would think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to try and. I want to try and call his phone. Hello. <laughs> You've reached now is the point where you put in. What do the numbers mean, Mason? What do they mean? Um, make a luck roll, Jeff. We'll go low. Pat, yeah, that got it. There's a buzzing under the futon when you start calling. Sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah. With gloves on, I'm picking up that phone. Sure. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Um, what can I get it unlocked? Uh, fingerprint. Fuck. Well, go to the morgue. That doesn't work. No. <coughs> There's got to be the electric, um, the electric signal in the body for it to work. I could say it would be a retinal scan. What do you think of that, Lucas? It's just a zigzag like it is on your phone. I have no idea what my phone is. <laughs> yeah, I do. I've seen you unlock it before. <laughs> what are we doing? It's a G. <laughs> it's not that hard to figure out. <laughs> uh, the infamous G and zigzag. <laughs> I was trying to be uh, quiet about it so people didn't break into your phone, but... Yes, because all these people are going to get access to his phone. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing? <clears throat> Moving along. Um, He's going to change it tomorrow to a lowercase g. If we can't unlock it, we can't unlock it. No. I, it it yeah. is what it is. Um, but do we want to let it get put into evidence? I don't know. I don't either. Like, it doesn't seem like this kid... <laughs> spoke to or did anything with anyone but himself in this room except a bunch of math nerds right but even that doesn't seem to be that many emails though like it doesn't it, right it, even that interactivity is minimal yeah um which is casually which is different than usually and mostly so is there sometimes. any way to get this phone open uh, you need some sort of like, like sigint or something, off. some computer science. Like it's possible, but I don't know that any of you know how to do it. You got sigint, right? I mean, take, take it to the phone store. We're FBI. This guy's dead. Open the phone. <laughs> I think you still have to have like a warrant for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> Find the most pimply faced kid. I mean, both both of us have some sigint. I mean, I got a little bit. We both we both have it at the same. My thought time. was. Yeah. <coughs> oh, craft we, phone. There you go. <laughs> Alertness rolls. Art. Fingerprinting. Yeah. Yes. Fail. Uh, uh, extreme pass. The PR woman from uh, um, the Col Columbia is at the door. Um, uh, is there anything I can do to help you, agents? Were you able to find those names? Uh, yes. Um, he had some friends here. Um, Pulls out a little field notebook and starts writing it down. Uh, my understanding is that he spent a lot of time with Anthony Desjardins and Molly Frank. Were they They're also both also uh, uh, graduate students here? What Same or similar vein of study. Well, Miss Frank, what was her first name? Molly. Uh, Molly. Molly. Anthony and Molly. Okay. Uh, could you get us there? Sure. Yeah. Are they in this building? She can. She can get it arranged to have them. You know, speak to you. Yeah. yeah. If we if we could do that since we're here immediately. Yeah. yeah sure. R A. Sure. They introduce you. Yeah. What would you like to ask the R A? The R A was probably the one who opened the opened the door. Just further questions about guests. <laughs> How off, uh, How often was he here? Michael, Mike was kind of a recluse. Um, I mean, he he slept in the dorm room, up in the cafeteria. Shoot, I mean, his lab, you know, all the everything was downstairs, so it was real easy. He'd go in his pajamas half the time. He's just really dedicated to his his studies. I mean, this doesn't seem like the kind of place where you where you live. I mean, for graduate students, yeah, it's not unusual. It's cheaper than living in the city. I just mean like. Seems like he was maybe staying someplace else. Take it up with Dewiler. That sounds like a no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, trying to solve the mystery, Cody. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you wait around a little bit, you could speak to Malini and Anthony if you want. Okay. Um, at at some point when she's not in the room and we're on our own, I will stash the the underwear too. Sure. I thought you only took the ring, the ear, the earring. No, I took I took a pair of underwear too. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, you could speak to Anthony and Molly. Um, they both kind of look intimidated being around the three of you. Mm-hmm. All right, he's playing good guy. Uh, yeah, you, you have some questions about, uh, Michael? Where were you? No, sorry. <laughs> what would you like to know? Kind of a kid, wasn't he? Is he, uh... I mean, he, he was quiet. Um, we've been friends with him for about a year. Mm-hmm. Um. Did you ever talk about, um, firearms or violence or anything? No, no, he was, he was a, he was a peaceful guy. Play a lot of video games or any kind? No, there's, there's no way, there's no way he did this. Uh, I beg to differ. Um. No, we've pretty much established that he did it. We're trying to figure out why. It just doesn't make any sense. He wasn't he he wasn't that kind of guy. He was just very peaceful and concerned with math. Who? Which one are we talking to? Are we talking to both? <laughs> Whoever you want to talk to? Yeah, they're both there. Uh, what they're are your, both what, what they're are your both areas? close together. You get the sense that they are a couple. What are your areas of study? Uh, oh, they're a couple. We we both work in science and mathematics. Kind of mathematics. Uh, theoretical physics and advanced mathematics. All three of you were maybe same class, same. Well, I mean, you're graduate students, so you're working on your own projects he was doing a different project but yes. My, michael hadn't shared any projects with you i mean i we knew what his work <laughs> dissertation did he have about. a research notebook of any kind i assume in his room I saw shit everywhere lucas i know um his uh, his research was into mersenne prime numbers to mersenne prime numbers how do you spell that m-e-r-s-e-n-n-e uh, do you know anything about well, that at all? Yes, we're we, we're advanced mathematicians. Um, right. Can you give me the spark notes? Uh, they're prime numbers, um, but they're massive prime numbers. Uh, their their values are so large they often encompass uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of digits each. Um, Wei was working on some math models to gem- generate um, extremely large Mersenne prime numbers, um, somewhere in the range of like fourteen million digits was his goal. Um, he was trying to figure out a way to develop an algorithm to to create those, but he's had some early success, but not a lot recently. Um, I guess my question is, what's the purpose of finding these numbers? To learn finding these to numbers advance, to to advance mathematics. Literally, just to find the number. Yeah, I, I know you don't know a lot about math, Lucas, but a lot of times math is just found neither does my math. character. Right. Sometimes math is just math. I will write this number down, show it to them. Could this be a prime number? They pull out their guns. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not sure. I'd have to look at it for a while and and run some computations. I don't I don't think so. <coughs> it's an odd number. Hmm. Typically prime. See what you did there. <coughs> Very few odd prime num or even prime numbers. Um, no, uh, that's not necessarily either of our specialties. I'm sorry. Um, we could work on it for you if you'd like us to. No, no. <laughs> How no, many we, vectors do you want to create? Jack? I was going to say we we've already got somebody uh, that's attached. That's to the crunching those numbers yes. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back at HQ. Anything else? Hmm. Did he- uh, what what professor is he does he work with for? He's a graduate student, so he I mean he has like an advisor, <laughs> but a lot of his work is done independently. They give you the name of the advisor. Yeah. Okay. You have a uh, his own. Uh, um, does he work in any kind of lab outside of his room? No. Yeah, no. There's a lab downstairs. Did he have his own like separate space? Or no, it's together? kind of it's kind of a communal space. I mean, he had a spot of it that he was dedicated to, and some can of the computing you, software that he was. Can using. you show that to us? Yeah, we'll take you downstairs. Okay. It's chalkboards, whiteboards, servers, beautiful mind shit, computers. Anywhere. Yeah, but it's not like it's his exclusively. Like no, there are probably some kids yeah. working in there when they show them to you. That's fine. Okay. I'm just kind of curious, like what we're looking at here, and maybe mm-hmm. what was left on the whiteboard. And, right. Yeah. 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 No. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Do we see anything similar to the equation that was emailed out mm-hmm. on the board? Um. Or anything on his workspace. Right. Yeah. Like, uh, assuming he pro- they probably have like some sort of dedicated workspace. Right. Alertness rules. They don't just like write over each other's stuff. No. <coughs> yes. 28 out of 50. Yes. Um, Troy roll sand. Yes. Uh, one. As you are sort of glancing at the students working, you don't see anything in the workstation, uh, at the workstation that they're indicating. Um, but as you're kind of glancing, you can see numbers scrolling on other uh, students' screens. 
And for a second there, you swear to God, you see if you look at the numbers on like the first student and then the second student and then the third student and the fourth student as they're sort of calculating, you swear to God, you like it's like fucking snake. You like see the trail of numbers roll from one screen to the next. and You're like, you shake your head. and You're like, that can't be fucking right. And then it scrolls back the other way um, with my alertness. I didn't see that. Um, you see a weird news story, uh, like on CNN in like off to the side, okay. um, there's been a, a shooting in Modesto, um, California, um, totally unexplained, like five or dead. Um, okay. It's spreading. Sorry, four or dead. I bet your murder money, suicide. I bet your money. It's somebody on that list. Sir. Very feasible. Um, <sighs> we got to get a hold of. Kimber- what? Kimbrel. Kimbrel, yes. Where where was he based at? Alfred University. Which is where? New York. Northern New York. It's it's Western New York. <laughs> he wrote Northern Upstate New York. That's not right. <laughs> it's northern of where we're Fuck at. Fuck you, Deadweiler. <laughs> <laughs> about, sure. about six hours away. I guess to be fair, he didn't say no, and it just says upstate. Ah. <laughs> but one would presume upstate is north of other places of the state. We got to get a hold of that guy. North now. doesn't mean up unnecessarily. We need to get a hold of him. And um, it's now getting on in the evening. I get. Do we need? Do we need to report that to our handler and say, "Hey, this is spreading"? Um, to Modesto. Are you staying in the city for the evening? Or are you trying to get back down to Alliance? What are you doing? Can he get um, us a chartered flight? To where? <laughs> to Alfred University. Shit, I mean, probably. I don't know how quickly. Like, you call and ask. You know how quickly he could arrange that. <coughs> Just saying, we we need to we need to get answers, and over the phone might not be the best way to get them. Yeah, and you could try over the phone. Otherwise, you could get a flight. Yeah, you'd see about you it. You could try calling again. My, well, I want to start failed, so. asking for the flights just in case we need it as a backup. <laughs> yeah, make the phone call. Call cool. Clancy. Did it. Um, Done. Before we leave, yeah. I'm going to head back up to the dorm room. Okay. I'm going to call Gant. Okay. Uh, uh, yep, Agent Gant. What can I do for you, Gant? It's uh, it's Mallory. Ah, how's it going? It it's going. Um, I think you and I got off to the wrong, on the wrong foot. Ah, he um, seems taken aback by that. I well, I I kind of talked to Susan earlier. Uh huh. Fucking Susan. <laughs> she that bitch. She kind of let slip that you're really trying to make a name for yourself. Well, uh, I don't know that I would say that, but I am trying to, not, you know, not be an a, effective field agent. Not anything in a in a pompous ass kind of way, but I I don't want you to think I'm trying to step on your toes, and I want to help. Um, we're over here at the dorm room at Columbia. Okay, I want you to get over here, and I want you to process this evidence. No, uh, okay. Um, I haven't touched it, but I found an earring under the bed. I haven't touched it; it's still there in place. Uh, you think that this is significant? I'm, I'm not sure. What are you? What are your thoughts, Special Agent? The, this place is a mess. It's a complete nerd's den. Okay. There's no goddamn reason for a woman's earring to be in here. Plausible, okay. And if, you're sure it's a woman's earring? As if to say, a ear. nerd can't have well, I mean, a girl in their dorm room. It it's very. I heard what you said. What what's the word? Um, conspicuous. It it's conspicuous in the fact that it doesn't Belong. line up with anything else in here. Uh, persuade plus twenty, Jeff. <laughs> Perfect. He'll be right over for the for the audience. That was a hundred. I. God damn it. I was really excited for you when I saw the double zero. Yeah, I, I know. Third zero. Uh, yes, Agent Mallory. Uh, thank you for the information. Uh, we'll be right over. I'll dispatch um, someone from uh, <coughs> New York um, to secure the scene, and I will be up to see it personally. Okay. Uh, I am stashing the, the book and the phone on my person and getting out of here. Yep. Sounds like a good plan. I'm sure that 100 won't come back to bite you, Jeff. Yeah, I know. I said I wiped it down. <laughs> All right, where are you guys going? What are you doing? We're trying to get up to upstate New York now to talk to Kimbrel. It's now in the evening, so the flight would be late. You could if you wanted to. Or somebody else can try to roll a luck roll to call him because I failed my luck roll to call him. He called his office. I mean, just happened to not be in the office at the time. Either way. Uh, are you sleeping or are you just hopping on a flight and flying to upstate New York? What's the what's the name of the university? Alfred, Alfred University. Oh, God. Yeah, that is a lot longer drive. <laughs> Uh, Clancy will arrange the flight. Are you going now? 
Yeah, let's go. You up on a flight. It is now early morning. Are you planning to sleep at all? Or sleep we- on the plane. Okay. <coughs> Got a full 20 minutes. It is the morning of the 15th. <coughs> it's not that far of a flight. It's several hours, but I mean, like, by the time you sleep on the plane, now it's it's midnight. Are you going to track him down at that point? You have a rental we car. We could probably track his actual City. home address down. Yeah, you're going to go see him at one o'clock in the morning? I don't know. We're on a time, we're on a time crunch here. Kind of. I kind of want to. Whatever you want to do, Captain Insano, you tell me. No, you're running we're not going to disturb him in the middle of the night. Uh, do- I don't think I would, but does does anybody else have access to actual law enforcement uh, databases? Um, I don't. FBI guy probably the FBI does. Agent. <laughs> the real FBI guy <laughs> probably does. Right. I didn't know what. Yeah, I probably have access to all kinds of databases. I <laughs> could probably. Lucas would have access. He'd have he'd have a much easier way to get it. Okay, so we can track this guy down. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, mean, I was saying. We probably get down. his address, home address and track him down. Yeah, I went satellite images yesterday. Um, I I don't think that showing up at his door at seven in the morning is going to be a bad idea. Yep, sure. That's what you guys want to do. Spot a breakfast. You get a hotel. Well, seven in the morning is different than one o'clock in the morning. Hey, right. You show up at seven o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. You see a suburban two story house uh, in a college town. Give him the secret knock. I was. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Delta <laughs> Green is here. <laughs> Where's my go bag? Uh, you see um, a, a lean, middle-aged man open the door. Um, he's sort of taken aback. Uh, hello, can I help you? Show credentials. Uh, uh, special, <coughs> special agents, I'm sorry, I'm not... Uh, I, 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 the kids are still in. Um, what, what can I do for you? Um, moment of your time. Yeah, we're sorry to disturb you. Of course. Um, we are... We're working on the investigation into Michael Way. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know that I'm I'm familiar. Uh, uh, I think he is a part of your list serve, and we the list brain. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, I don't remember what, what possibly. You, what, um, <coughs> math geeks. Math geeks. Yes. <coughs> uh, oh, oh goodness. No, there is a yeah no there is a, a, a and you see him kind of like pull up his phone and he starts like fiddling with Outlook. Um, As he's talking to him, I'm Googling the shooting in Modesto. Sure. Yeah. What would you like to know about the shooting in Modesto? Who's the shooter? Um, The shooter is, uh, it's a family of four dies under uh, suspicious circumstances. Julius Seward, age 31. Annetta Seward, age 30. They're not genetically related, Lucas. (laughs) Um, Not Modesto. Anthony Seward, two, and Evelyn Seward, five, uh, are found in the ruins of their home, which was burned to the ground around them. Each had been shot by a small caliber weapon. The weapon could not be located. Um, it's odd because it seems like the the, the thought is that they're being uh, uh, it's being investigated as um, an intruder or burglar. But so far between the fire and everything else, there are no physical signs. I thought you said it was a murder suicide earlier. No. Well, that's one of the running theories. Could one one person have shot everybody and then burn the house down? Could, you know, the cops right now are saying that they're looking for someone. OK, so we're going to tell this professor guy that we need uh, the members of the list. I, I mean, I, sure. I, um, I, I I don't see how this applies, but sensitive yeah. information could possibly have been passed <laughs> from Mr. Way to other members in the list. So, uh, yeah, uh, you said way W E I. Yeah, there is an M way at Columbia U dot edu. I believe that is on the list. Serve. That's the one. Can you help us identify the people that are on your list, sir? Uh, sure. I'm. I'm. I, I guess I'm not seeing the con- connection. Again, sensitive information might have been passed by Mister Wade to other people. We need to make sure. Sure. That this either did or did not happen. <laughs> he presents you with some information. Okay. The list includes Lawrence Badek, 42, um, from West Baden, Germany. Kelly Castleman, 29, from Brinkman, Montana. Jamie Izzy. You're going way too fast, dude. Yeah. What was the second one? <laughs> Jamie Izzy from France. Noreen Cooter, 22, from the Philippines. Tia Markle, 29, from NYC. <coughs> Eve McAfee, 39, England. <coughs> ben Philbeck, 44, California. Part of California. Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. I didn't want to say all of it. <coughs> Kelly Pletcher, 21, Missouri. Julius Seward, 31, California. 31? Yep. 
That was the name of the. Mm-hmm. That was the name of the family. Yeah. yeah. Emily Tomlinson, 51, Florida. As well as Michael himself. Yes. Uh, is there anything else I could do for your agent, for you agents? Uh, you don't have any way of killing anything that he would have sent, do you? Uh, no. I'm just asking. I don't know how your list serve works. Or really how your website operates. Lucas is a listserv. All the emails go on an address. When you send it to the address, it sends it to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's how a listserv works. It's like MailChimp. Cool. Yep. Literally like MailChimp. Um... That's why, I was, like, I, that's why I was saying I don't know if there's any any purpose or not to have him pull the website and put it under construction for a minute or not. Uh, I don't know if there would be a point to that. He can't no. pull back the emails. Yeah. Not the emails. The website itself he could shut down. I don't know there's, what there's, he's there's not going to be sending any more emails. Yeah, there's nothing on the way on the won't. website that's... that's Way won't. Dangerous. Other people could. It's the emails. I get that. Um, he could shut that email off. Yeah, yeah, he, he could you kill could, the listserv. Could kill the listserv until we're able to clear this investigation. Uh, just to make sure that really nothing. Think that's necessary. Just to make sure that nothing else is disseminated through this email. Okay, it is very necessary. We, uh, the from the list you gave us, there's at Shut least Shut up, Lenny. At least one other. <laughs> at least one other person. Is this your homework, Larry? At least one other person. Um, connected. Connected. Sure. Yeah. No. I'll. I'll shut it off. Cool. Much appreciated. Great. We'll be in Brilliant. contact when you're clear to start it back up. Stay home. Sure. Don't leave town. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm already heading back to the car and calling the handler with this list yeah. of names. Yarp. Uh, with special emphasis on the Sewards. Yarp. Yep. We're looking into that. Well, here's the the list of all the others that were yep. on that list. Sir. We're not Best assassins. thing you've done so far, I'd have to say. You're welcome. We're not assassins. Uh, the evidence in the police station is, I mean, you might not cleared up. <laughs> Fair point. That's it, impressive. If they were, we fed some, we fed some evidence to the, uh, to the, the second in command who's trying to make a name for himself. Gant. Gant. And we're hoping that he will be able to connect, um, evidence that will be found in his dorm to the wife. Okay. <coughs> All right. I got packets. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas acts like there's no photocopiers around. <laughs> they collected those. You collected those packets. They didn't want you to leave with them either. <sighs> Brought them um, to the shredder to be shredded. Saki brand. <laughs> Besides the numbers that are spray painted on the street, is there anything else that we need to clear? I don't know. Okay. Comox could be an issue. Comox. God damn it. Okay. Wait, what was that? Dr. Comox, the... Crypto oh, analyst. Shoot her in the head and walk away. <laughs> you said you were an assassin, right? I didn't say that. You didn't say you weren't. <laughs> I did not say that either. <laughs> Correct. Uh, I said was. So where, what are you guys doing now? Uh, probably heading back to uh, Alliance. Or is that the name of the town? Alliance, New Jersey. Yeah. You did leave a rental car in New York City. Yeah, we drove to New York. So I guess we fly back to our car and drive back, right? I guess so. Yes. Yeah. That's going to take some time. Yeah. Are you doing anything else in the city once you get back? Uh, I don't know. Do we have time for like sightseeing? Lion King. Something? At least pizza. Oh, definitely pizza. New York pizza. Yeah. Street cheats. Too. Yeah. Like off the street cards for sure. It's happening. <laughs> Maybe a hot dog. Yeah. I'm just curious if there's anything you'd like to do involving the investigation, but we'll carry on. <laughs> uh, what investigation? Didn't realize what, yeah, um, was, didn't realize what you were asking. Sorry. Um, I mean, there's not much more we can do other than, like, determine... There was no, there were no numbers left at the, you were following the, the footage or whatever's going on in Modesto. Like there were no numbers left visible anywhere in Modesto. Not that you've mark. seen from far away. <coughs> okay. Um, what do you, what do we do once we go back to Alliance? That's the question. If we just disappear crypto analyst. We, that's really the only other person. Is, is she the only hanging, uh, thread and the numbers on the sidewalk and the number other than the numbers on the side, go fucking rent a power washer and destroy. I don't care. <laughs> Why <Buy, laughs> can't a paint thinner? I'm going to say, yeah, that too. Power washers. Yeah. Uh, buy some bleach. Oh, it's gone. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only other thing that I would say is obviously the precinct. Oh, oh they, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they do oh, have physical yeah. evidence there. Yeah. No, no. The, the one where he got the gun. Oh, that one. Yes. Mm-hmm. 24th Precinct. Okay. Oh, that's in New York. We have not yet right? once tracked down the state trooper for any reason. 
You yeah. asked about him, and that was it. We haven't really needed to. You asked about him, and then he was New Jersey, was right? Yes. yes. Yeah. But we're in New York, so. Yeah. Those are different places. We should hit the precinct. He's still a friendly. So you're headed to the 24th precinct. Yep. What would you like to do? Figure out. Burn to the ground. Figure out who lost their shotgun. (coughs) Which one of you jug offs lost your shotgun? Um, you are quickly, uh, um, bureaucracy. 60%. I'll give it to you. Okay. At 60. Yeah. (coughs) Um, fucking lifesaver right now. You, um, silver lining. You, uh, Go and um, you're able to access the 24th precinct. Um, you talk to some people. It takes a couple of hours to kind of cut through the red tape. Ultimately, you're introduced to Sergeant Marvin Herrera, um, and uh, we'll say a late middle aged officer. Um, looks like he's been on the force for a long time. Oh shit! I just shot Marvin in the face. He is. Um, Why did you shoot Marvin in the face? He's the one, uh, I guess, that's in charge of you know securing weapons and whatever the weapons master you know thing would be for a poli- you know an officer. I don't know who would secure weapons and. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, was was this a part of a batch that was being put to use by the police or that was being destroyed by the police? Uh, no, these are these are police shotguns. Yeah. Okay. They are. They were sold to the state of New York. So who's who's gun? So when was you it? like when you like come up and you're like, oh, here's a you know you're saying, hey, it's a Remington 870 police shotgun, and here's a serial number. Yeah, who's you're directed number? to Herrera. That, so it's his gun. No, no that's he's in charge. No, of he's he's right. like the quartermaster. Yeah, he's like no, there ain't no, he's like there ain't no goddamn way, special mm-hmm. agent. That gun mean? on my inventory is secure. Nothing goes missing. Can we show ver- me your can inventory? We verify? Show me your inventory uh, right now. Show me the blueprints. Yeah. Um, he'll take you uh he'll take you downstairs and you see sealed boxes. With serial numbers on the outside. Like, well, are, I mean, what, like the thing you... is is that this is like a reserve weapon. They bought it, it's in extra storage in case they need it. There's a riot, whatever. None of the boxes have been opened at all. No. These boxes are here. My job is to maintain them and I take it seriously. No, I, I appreciate that. And I'm if anything, I'm here trying to help cover your ass. Because we were told this came from here. All right. And if we can clear your name, that's what that's what I'm here to do. I mean, like, are these stacked? Are they on show? Like, what yeah, no, there are dozens and dozens of weapons in this storage area. So like, <laughs> if I try to pick some of them up, they all feel they all feel heavy. They it's all a feel box. Like of, they have. It's a box of like nine shotguns. It's a crate. Right, it's right. right. Can we crack that open? Oh, fuck's sake. All right, whatever. Hey, 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 hey! I don't like people asking questions. All right, you have a you have a fake shotgun. That's I don't all like I gotta families say. getting blasted in the face with shotguns stolen from your fucking department either. There's six shotguns in that fucking case, like they're supposed to be. I, Let's is, open is it up and fucking, just make like, sure. Crowbar, like I'll just pop it open. Yeah, no, he he goes and he gets something to pry it open. How many are in there? Five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not great at math, sir. One, two, three, four. What comes after four? Seven. Five. All right. You know, you guys are going to act like this. I'm telling you, those guns are there. That box hadn't been pried open in two years. I got the logs to prove it. I can't tell you what the fuck happened to those guns. Is there security cameras in this room? There are. Could, I need your footage. Could we check them? We, we know that this thing ended up in this kid's hands. We don't know how. All right. When do, what do you, what do you want to look for? We have the date that he got the gun, right? Because it was written somewhere. <laughs> It was part of that sequence of numbers you found. Was it on the 12th? Uh, yeah. Was it on the 12th? The, got the, it? the sheet that we found with the police precinct, <clears throat> was there a date and a time on it? That's what you told me it was. You had oh. that sequence of numbers. <clears throat> <clears throat> or is that what we thought it was before we just, before we figured out that it was longitude latitude? Uh, yeah. Can we go back and look at... Uh, October 12th. October 12th, around 9, 9, 9 to 9.30 in the morning. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? And he goes over to a security guard. There's some other officers involved. The chief, you know, the uh, whatever you call it, the chief of the station is now involved. <coughs> and you see him cue it up for October 12th and he hits play. The entire room is empty. There are no weapons on any of the shelves. And you can see that shelves have been moved around and you can see some like construction workers moving around. Oh, shit. That was a fuck. That was the day that they were working on the pipes. So what happened to all your stock? Well, uh, we took it outside in the secure lot and it was watched all day by five officers, including myself. Are there cameras out there? All right. Yeah, we can go look through that. We're also going to need all five of the other four officers. Uh, they're not going to be able to figure all that out right this second, but they can go show you. the. Tapes. We're just going to need to question them. <laughs> um, <coughs> everybody roll Sam. It's my current Sam. I forget. Fail. Yes. 1d4 if you fail. 
That's a crit fail. That's four, Troy. Fail real bad. Fail real bad. Somebody roll me a d4. <coughs> what sweet. How are those sands looking? That's pretty I am good. not to a breaking point <laughs> yet. As uh, I keep thinking like five and one go, and that's the difference. It's like he, I always fuck up sand between the games. Five and one go is still the same in this game. Oh, is um, it? Yeah. Um, as you begin um, looking this up, right? Uh, what you notice is is that uh, you can see on the cams they brought it all out. The guys are are watching it. There's squad cars. There are cops going in and out. You got some guys set a position there, keeping an eye on the firearms. Um, um, you uh, notice looking at the tapes. Uh, there are plenty of you watching. You can tell eventually after enough watches that um, someone in a hoodie, which you guys generally figure out from the various camera angles, is Michael Way. Mm-hmm. Um, is uh, um. He, he he's 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 around the corner from the precinct and this is at about nine o'clock and you could see that he's sort of leaning against the wall. He's got a duffel bag in his hand and he keeps checking his watch mm-hmm. and he keeps checking his watch. He's obsessively compulsively checking his watch. And about nine twenty one, he makes a move. Uh, Pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, He crosses the street to the parking lot entrance um, approximately <laughs> 15 seconds later. Um. You see a cop car come around the corner and it strikes um, it strikes a medium sized dog and flings it like onto the curb. As that happens, you see the officers who are around the weapons cache run over to see what happens. Way comes around the corner, pulls um, a pry bar, pops it up, throws the shotgun in the bag, hammers it back down and is gone in less than 60 seconds. The time stamp on the clock at the time the gun is put in the bag is 921. <laughs> Mallory sees that and says, fuck. <laughs> what fucking shit is this? That kid's must be goddamn magic or something. We were gone for, and the tape shows, they were over there checking out the dog and checking the officer and checking the damage to the car. Three minutes tops. Yeah. And this is like a closed lot. Like he had to have known to come around right at the instance. Like he passes within 10 feet of one of the officers on his way in. And just narrowly misses them on his exit. Okay. Just pause the thing and just say, it's Michael Way. By everything we see on here, you guys didn't do anything wrong. And we want to make sure that you guys are cleared of any. Of At anything. this point, I mean, like it starts becoming we're talking to the union, blah, blah, blah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <coughs> we're calling the handler who are used guys you know we're the guys that do our jobs you must be the other guys who are you <laughs> who are you who are you tommy chan tommy chong um back to alliance then yeah i guess so it's pretty late when you get back there on the evening of this of uh, the 15th and on the way if you won't i'll call the handler and been like we, the gun disappeared at this time blah 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 Yep. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. We uh, in the in the dorm, we found a piece of paper telling exactly where and when the gun would be taken. Okay. A string of numbers that indicated a date, a time, and coordinates. And you were able and to specific, figure that all out. And a specific incident. We we were able to figure out the coordinates, and then when we got there, we were able to figure out the timestamp on the video. Got it. He was. That, that guy did. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, he figured it all out. Brains of the operation. Um, Can't handle the fire himself, but. It's late on the 15th when you get back to Alliance. Should Maybe we just like do. straight up check in on this chick? Yeah. Like knock on her. You could. Yeah, it's room late. And see if she's how she's doing. Or is she still at the precinct working or. She's working out of the Motel 6. That's, she's yeah, working out of the Which Motel is where 6. we're supposed to be stationed as well. So. <laughs> Um. Oh, when I was on when we were on the phone with the handler, I will let him know about the book. Okay, we can look into that. Do because you didn't look into it at all beyond just the name. Correct. Um. Do I hang on to this? Do I destroy it? What do you want done? Hold on to it for now. Okay. The book just had numbers written in the margin, right? It's a whole book. Like it's a whole book in Latin. Right. <coughs> yeah, by that famous Latin guy. Oh. Hmm? By that famous Latin guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, real famous dude. And no, I don't say anything about anything I saw in the book. 
<laughs> Coward. Um, uh, you go back. Are you are you banging on her door at you know? I don't know. That nine, ten o'clock at night. There and put a pillow over her face. What do you want to do? I don't know. Is she in the bar or anything like that? Uh, no, you can't find her. Okay, outside of her room at least. Uh, what next? Yeah, I don't know. Do we knock at midnight? For the audience at home, when Mallory looked in that book, he found a string of numbers. Uh, the numbers on, on this page are your social security number, your age, longitude and latitude numbers, a time, and then hello. As you gaze at your watch, uh, it is the time listed. So that was all your personal information. Yeah. <coughs> burn the book. Um, <laughs> I don't even know why you kept it. Just burn the book. I know why I kept it, and I, I also know why I didn't mention that to anybody. But next, yeah, uh, she again is she our last thread aside from now this weird book and the the numbers on the street paint thinner midnight. Let's let's get rid of it now while we're here. You could, yeah, yeah, yeah we definitely do that. I, I mean, Walmart's twenty four seven. I don't know if we want to approach her now. We may get better information from her when it's not the middle of the night or late at night to know if she even knows anything. Or we wait for her to go nuts, and then we can just put her down. Oh, she's yeah. gonna, she's gonna fucking go on a spree in this hotel, which is what we don't want. I mean, nothing about our directive said stop any erroneous casualties, so that's not on us. So what are you doing? It's late. Should probably you're back. Minimize casualties. We are. It's October fifteenth. We're going to go and check out the. Um, we're going to go get paint thinner, and we're sure. going to check out the where the numbers are. Still being watched. Uh, we're also buying yeah, it's still uh, very dark clothing and ski masks. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's a squad car patrolling, like just sitting outside the house. Okay, just a squad car. Yeah. No no press. No, not at this point. It's okay. late at night. Good time. Good time to get rid of it. If they ask what we're doing, we just flash a badge. Orders higher up. Yeah. Mm. The the numbers have been cataloged. There's no need there's yeah. no need to just get rid of them. To keep them keep them here. We've been instructed by J. Edgar Hoover himself. We do this thing. Mm. Um persuade roll. Mine's at fifty. What's yours? Yeah, mine is too. Fifty. I'm a dot. I uh, I mean that you you're the feds. Special agent uh Dixian. Dixkin. <laughs> hey, weren't you on the TV? <laughs> Punch him in the face. No, I just, uh, I just say, proud to be famous. I just keep scrubbing. <laughs> okay, you clean up the numbers. He does some auctioneer from time. To time. It's now like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> auctioneer from time to time. Hotel sleep. Started naming all these numbers off really fast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. We got yeah. a nine. And a nine. And a two. And a two. Okay. Are we missing anything before we before we officially go to bed for the night? Um, not that I know of. Covered the stolen gun. Covered the numbers. Probably wake up to gunfire. Let's just do it. Covered covered any any names possibly for, from the mail list that could be exposed. Wiped wiped the FBA the FBI information. Planted. Can you look up Tia Markle? Huh? He wants to know about Tia Markle. She's also from New York. Oh, yeah. uh, like through my research abilities? Yes. Probably, yeah. Can track her down, right? Barista, New York City. Uh, it takes you a long time to do that. You're not going to get that information for a while. She's but 20, yes. She was 25. Is she also a student? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay. <laughs> a really intelligent woman who just happens to be working as a barista for some reason. I don't know. She could be working as a barista. I mean, she, she would be the only one close enough that we could look into. It sounds like some mm -hmm. dragon tattoo shit. Morning of the 16th. I think we've given her name to the powers that be. They yeah. can handle it from that point. Um, were you just curious because she was in New York or? Yes, because she was the only one close enough for us to actually look Get into. To. That's fair. Going to the morning, uh, briefing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kaner's there. Uh, um, Mallory, uh, Agent Dixian. Um, Dixkin. Uh, good to see you all. Good to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Good to be seen. <laughs> I hear you were involved in New York. Yeah, we went to check out uh, the the serial number on that shotgun. Ah, ah, good, 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 good. I uh, look forward to the uh, to your report. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, whatever report we can file, we can file it. Um, this time on this filing dick. video <laughs> shit. I mean, whatever, yeah. whatever makes us look official. Gant is um, 
Gant is. Uh, we have one more thread to to, to tie yeah. up, and then we're yeah, I know. Audi five Audi. Uh, Gant gives another presentation, information, blah blah blah. Anything you'd like to do? How is the uh, I forget. What, sorry, what was the woman's name? The number cruncher, Doctor Comox. Comox. Is she looking okay? She you don't see her. her. I was yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I will ask out loud uh, where she. Uh, is. She was having a cup of coffee earlier. I think she's looking into something. Oh, okay. she was gotcha. on the. She was a. Uh, there's like probably some sort of like outdoor space. Um, and I, I saw her out there having a cup of coffee. I was going to go check in with her in a little bit. Excellent. Is Gant here? Yeah, he's leading the presentation. Okay. I will excuse myself. I was going to say <laughs> and seek her out. I was okay. almost going to do the same thing, but I'll let you do it. Go ahead. Uh, you're so the Troy. assassin. Yeah. Uh, Lucia, uh, you, you step out. There's like I said, a little terrace with like a place where you can sit and she's, uh, you can see she's got a notepad. Um, and she's kind of marking some numbers on the notepad and then she's staring intently across the road, looks at her watch, marks on the notepad, looks at her watch, makes a couple more marks. Shoot her in the head and walk away. Just there's a giant, there's a giant mug of, of hot coffee that doesn't look like it's been touched. She doesn't even notice, uh, your approach. These numbers you found, uh, red, you see a red car go by. That's mighty impressive. <laughs> uh, and actually, most most cars in the United States are red. It's statistically the most likely um, color of vehicle. What would be more impressive is if um, I were able to say like blue, green, blue, blue, red, blue, and then that combination went by. You see her writing numbers? Huh. You got a shoelace? Sorry, you got a shoelace? <laughs> <laughs> How public... <laughs> I mean the parking lot's there. Spaces is, is this? It, she's like out near the parking lot. Like there are people nearby. Okay. Federal agent. <laughs> I mean, what the best you can do is like break her gaze and try to snap her out of it. Dump the coffee in her lap, something like that. Ow. Whatever's gonna let Troy do this thing. I'm curious. No, I was, I was thinking. I was. I was sit down. Sit down next to her and <clears throat> accidentally spill the, the coffee in her lap. Onto the, onto her writings, if possible, even. Yeah, you see, you see her kind of jump back, and she goes, uh, um, uh, "I'm so, I'm so sorry." Oh my goodness! And she's like wiping it off of her off of her pantsuit or whatever, you know. Was her, was this was this related to the case? Uh, just testing a theory. Um, she sort of sets the notebook down. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I I'm I'm sorry. I'm I I must say I'm not I'm not feeling very well. Uh, if you'll excuse me. You know, her hands are kind of trembling and you see her just kind of like, like set her pen down and she walks away, leaving the, the notebook and the spilled coffee and the, and the pen and everything. I will pick up the notebook and tail her. Okay. Alertness. Those are good numbers. It's not a good fail. It's not a good fail. What does that mean? It's a really bad fail. <coughs> um, you start, you start to, you start to follow her and then, and then you stop you kind of glance at the paper and glance and you see the same five cars she suggested go by and their license plates line up with the numbers <laughs> she wrote on the paper. Uh, roll Sam, please, Troy. Uh, does that matter if it's a fail? <laughs> 66, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, another that four. How's a breaking point looking, Troy? Still not there yet. I'm shocked. So by the time you look up, she's she's disappeared. Like you're just like uh um um but uh um mm, um the two of you. Anything you're doing? I mean, if the <laughs> if the briefing's over, I would, yeah. Like obviously, uh, obviously, we're gonna try to seek out this woman. So I'm waiting to see that. if Gant says anything about the evidence in the um. He does not. He simply gives you a look, but he does not approach you. I will approach him afterwards. Uh, yes. Were you able to go and process evidence <laughs> at the door? Yes, they're working on it. They are. Have you found anything? Uh, possibly. Yeah? Still looking into it. <coughs> Don't push. Okay. What next? I'm keeping an eye out for the, uh, mathematician and seeing where she goes. If I happen to see her walk through. Yeah. You do not. Tell. I would, yeah, no, I mean, ask the, ask the desk, which is her room. Yep. You can figure out which room hers is. All those things. 333. Um, <laughs> <laughs> would you like to roll Santra? No, I would not. I'd like it if you did, though. That's too bad. I'm not, I'm here to please you. <laughs> Just trying to get me to break. It's a fail, but a regular fail. It's D4? close, though. <laughs> it was real <laughs> close to another 66. <laughs> Un. 
All right. Room 333. I mean, if we can suss that out, then let's go. I will explain to them <coughs> what I heard, what I saw. You guys are going to room 333? Finding a bin before we get there, throwing the, the journal, whatever, lighting it on fire. <laughs> Just tear it to shreds before you put it yep. in there, at least. You go to room, <laughs> different room 333. Different bins. Yes. What are you doing? That's not the secret knock. Oh, shit. Uh, there is no response from inside. Door unlock handle? Uh, yeah, I bet it's unlocked. Open. Push it open. Uh, you see Dr. Comox uh, laying on the bed, staring up at the ceiling. Uh, she appears to be laughing to herself, and you can see um, that she's uh, crying. Mascara is sort of running over her eyes, and she's just staring up, giggling, and la- and and crying at the same time at the ceiling. Did anybody notice us go in here? No. Oh. Roll stealth? There is a roll for that. Roll group stealth, which means the shittiest stealth rolls. Well, the shittiest stealth roll is 10. <coughs> Unless, unless anybody has yeah. actual stealth. I was more trying to like look around and see if someone anybody notices go in, which is not really stealth so much as it is alertness. I was still at the briefing. I- okay. So you two are apparently going to murder this woman in cold blood. Please continue. Or wrap it up. You got Do it you all have done. A particular set of skills. Oh, there's a pillow right there. I'm sure your strength is better than mine. My strength is massive, actually. My strength is 70. You roll that unarmed attack, big boy. It's unarmed attack to put a pillow over someone's face? Well, I mean, it's you're unarmed attacking her. Unless you have attack pillow. Whoa. Whoa. Craft, that's, craft pillow. That's an <laughs> amazing idea. I knew I could figure it out. <coughs> My unarmed is an 80. Attack pillow. Mine's a 70, but yeah. 57 out of 80. I'm going to imagine you can smother this woman to death relatively easily. I do so. Place the pillow back under her head. Um, Troy alertness roll. Didn't bother shutting the door. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking... Why would we not? Housekeeping! <laughs> you want mint for pillow? Um, uh, as, as you see him smother um, her, uh, I'll give you a pass on... Uh, well, let's see what happens. Um, she doesn't seem to kick all that much, um, but she does, as she kind of gasps, no, I figured it all out. No, this all makes sense. This is so important. You can't stop it. Yeah, no, but you, yeah, you're kind of getting that. Um, her sort of monologue. Um, you realize that she sort of twists and shivers and 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 twists, um, and then she stops. And you look over, and the time is nine twenty-one. Do you like to roll sand again? No, you could. I could. It'd be nice. Just giving you one more shot. I was asking if you'd like to, not that you had to. Yeah, <laughs> that was just a general question, really. Uh, if you like. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like. I wouldn't like. <laughs> what are you doing with the now dead body of Dr. Comox? Um, Believing it? Yeah. She's in bed. <clears throat> Getting in a car <laughs> and, and leaving. leaving. Is that the general plan for the three of you? Yeah. Well, we're not going to drag her body outside, are we? I mean, if they're going to come get me and say, hey, we got to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no. We're leaving him the fuck here. <laughs> Okay, so the three of you are now ditching it at that at this point. Mm-hmm. So we're calling the scenario over Con- from your perspective, contained as much as we could. I mean, can, can you think of anything else that we could do yeah. other than the digital copies that were on like the slideshow? I don't really know what else we have that has that number on it. Submitting actual FBI reports to try and close the case, right? You could do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I'm not like the standing agent over it, but I could. Try. Right. But the things that we went and did, we can sub- submit reports yeah. based on those. But, but you are the only one who is an actual agent. Well, yeah. yeah. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, I will, I'll, I'll file what I need to file. <coughs> Call the handler. Sure. Um, contained. There's no other threads. That laptop though. What, which laptop? That you it, just said. Oh, his laptop. Well, yeah. Other, that's what I said. Other than that digital file, what else do we have that has that number on it? <laughs> Unless we can get somebody to hack it from within. Or, again, just fucking steal it. Oh, somebody would have to steal it, ideally, during this thing, which is probably in his, in his, on his person at the time. So. If we're going, we're going. I, yeah. I get it. We're going. Okay. Scenario over. I, I get, yeah, I think so. <coughs> uh, Troy and Jeff, I just need you to start making sand rolls. Just curious. <laughs> like, just... Because yeah. I killed a guy. Because? I killed a yeah. guy. I mean... Yeah. Oh, fuck no. Pass. Okay. Uh, one. Jeff, one D6. One D6? Yes, please. One. Can I, can I no that? shit. Yeah. Can I add that back? Yeah, hang on. So that's the- Usually those bone dice roll higher. You got lucky. So that's the, the 16th. Um, I'll have all of you roll sand again. 
as you find out on the all of us or just those two all of you okay your sand's different though pass pass fail uh one slash one d4 so uh, one if you pass one d4 if you fail that's a breaking point perfect on the morning of october 16th um thought we were on the 16th uh yes you are um you are now roll me a d4 <clears throat> you broke i don't have to worry about you anymore jeff um push it <laughs> there's a news story uh out of germany um apparently a 42 year old ex math teacher um named lawrence badek held security forces at bay at the top of the tower for hours twice unfurling what looks like a bed sheet with numbers written on it and shoe polish seven hours into the incident um bedek is armed when he ineffectually fires at the police on the ground hitting no one finally a special not commando team uh, attempts to take him down it ends suddenly with both bedek and a commando named ernst osterlitz falling to their deaths 200 feet onto concrete on live television um, but that hurt uh yep not it, for long it was a very 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 quick um, so Lucas, you lose the sand because of, you know, just, Hey, we probably caused that, you know, yeah. and, you know, that was kind of what we, we didn't did. get there in time. Jeff. We yeah. Shit. We tried to stop it. Uh, make me a firearms roll with a bonus die. Uh, both of them are missed by four. It's it's ugly, um, and you attract more attention than you intend to, but you get the job done. Um, what the fuck? Now, let's see. What would you do? Um, yeah. Uh, what are your other languages? Jeff, you got a couple left there. Give me one. Uh, Portuguese and Arabic. Oh, Arabic's perfect. Thank you. Um, sand for the two of you. Uh, Jeff, you're not around much longer. Yeah. Got it. Um, after executing your mistress uh, in bed and then painting her blood all over the walls of the townhouse in a series of strange, obscure numbers, you then drive to the um, to the consulate of the United Ab Emirates, where you're well known. Um, you attempt to bypass security and then just use whatever rounds you have left shooting at anybody at will before saving the last round to put in your own brain. Uh, that's a that's a one d four slash one d eight for the two of you since you knew him and knew what the fuck is going on. Even if I crit pass two, uh, you still I'll give you one on it. Then I am at my breaking point. Still perfect. Hurts. I'm three away. Um, from it's ironic because this happens on the same day. Uh, I need uh, I'm gonna need two more sand rolls from you. Um, you just go full metal jacket on your class, like fucking awful like whatever it is hand grenades i don't know what the shit but a whole bunch of marines die um as you proceed to scream a string of numbers at them um so you're dead um two more sand rolls for you two more yeah <clears throat> no uh, the first one okay the, the first one's 1d4 uh, 1d4 first sorry yep no you're fine <coughs> uh hey i hit my breaking point perfect i'm dead too no um roll the second one 21 out of 40 Another D4. Uh, you're the only one who survives to this story. Um, but um, um, news erupts about a brutal and bizarre attack on a classroom full of students at Lewis and Clark High School in Brinkman, Montana. Apparently, nearly a dozen students were killed in a shotgun attack. Uh, the survivors claimed a woman named Kelly Castleman entered the room with a gym bag, removed a pump shotgun, leveled it at the nearest student and asked, what's the answer? Uh, when the student failed to properly answer, she blew open his torso. This continued until 11 students were dead and the rest fled. Castleman apparently then shot herself in the chest with a shotgun. Um, well, I'm sure glad that handler jumped on this shit. <laughs> yeah. And that is the good thing we gave him that list. And we'll say that that is the uh, at the end of the last equation. Are we supposed to go to every place and like? No, you, I mean you're kind of fucked from the beginning. You guys actually, I think that that is probably hands down the best DG scenario ever. Yeah, because you didn't get Comox. Comox still had a couple more days until she went batshit crazy. You eliminated a lot of things, and surprisingly, even though you both did exactly what I hoped you do, which you both put a twenty in math, which makes you open to the equation. Well, that's why you, you could, were both went crazy. Correct. You don't know fuck all enough about math i didn't i don't person, so i didn't bother <laughs> you both eventually realized that what's known as the laqueous equation um is some sort of fancy smancy interdimensional tells time and solves all things 
And once you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, you then give people uh, you then are like given instructions from the thing about how to propagate more of the numbers and what you're supposed to do. So if you go crazy during the scenario, which is what I was kind of hoping, I was going to send you messages of what you needed to do, um, which was to I was going to send you messages to at least kill one of your fellow DG agents and then take Enrico Suave hostage on the news. <laughs> um, it also suggests things like kill the president, um, you know, a few other things. So you started an international incident. You killed a bunch of trainees. You just kind of went crazy. But That's and right. what's great is both of them had the opportunity to say, no, I don't know math. And they both signed up to know the math. Lucas. Yeah. Lucas thought about it, but Lucas just didn't do it. No, I, I, I didn't like my literal reason for not doing it was because Lucas doesn't know math. I thought it was funnier that way. And it worked out. Hey, guess what? Don't know math. Don't go crazy. In fact, you are supposed to if people answer that they do have them, it gives you the option to then remove the agents from the scenario and just have the other the character play with a different pregen. Which means when you go back and listen to it, Troy's opening 20 minutes are great. Thank you for that, Troy. You're welcome. So that is the last equation by Dennis Detweiler. Um, any comments, questions, suggestions, things you want to know? No, I think that one played very well. Yeah, that was, that's probably the quickest we've come up with good ideas, I think. And, uh, it, I think it like, we flowed really well trying to get to answers without yeah. hobbling too much. I don't, I, I think. No. Well, well, and it felt, it felt like we were, <coughs> we were actually given the clues that we needed to solve it. Which did help. Yeah. We were also told what the fuck to do with what we found it. There's there some of the some of the scenarios we, we play f- with Delta Green. I don't feel like we have any idea how we're supposed to mm. proceed. It's like something is wrong here. Go find out what and why and how and who and where. And yep. The other, the answer we get is contain it most of the time. But we were told what to contain this time. I read most of the ones in black sites. Black sites are definitely a little bit more fleshed out than like say a shotgun scenario. It's yeah. Fun. So um, no, it's fun. Good stuff. 